Hello, friend. Hello, returning subscriber friends. Hello, new friends that just found my channel today. This is going to be a pick a card reading on messages from your future self. Really, you can think of, uh, I channeled when I was trying to think like maybe five years, ten years, whatever you are trying to, however far you're trying to channel out, these will be the messages to you from your future self. If the messages resonate today with the reading, don't forget to hit the like and drop a comment and sub subscribe to the channel and then I can get you added into my 500 subscribers giveaway. If you didn't see my short, I made a short that shows what I gave away for the 100 subscribers. It was a beautiful manifestation kit, a $50 value, and I paid the shipping. <laughs> lighten some sage real quick. Before I do the prayer, you want a little sneak peek at the manifestation board for the group ritual. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse my finger. <laughs> Ta Been working hard to prepare for that. I hope you check that out. I'll be doing it on the 8th. I don't know if I'm going to do it alive at like 8 p.m. That's when I would like to do my manifesting. That's when I would normally do it by myself. So mm, it'll probably be alive unless I chicken out and then I will record it and post it. Okay. Angels, ancestors, and guides. Mother, God, Father, God, highest self, please help me connect now with the divine energy. Anything that's dark or negative, not to our highest good, I ask that you leave now in loving peace. Amen. Blessed be it is so. It is done. Mm -hmm. Hello, number one. So I pre-shuffled some cards and I also have some affirmations and some other cards in case we need some more clarification. Let's see what these all are. Mm might need these cards here we got a lot going on okay just say feet a lot let's see what's all going on here with this love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and we're also talking about you reap what you sow it is safe for you to love you're gonna have to open up your heart boo boo yeah that's what this is here this is the heart chakra bursting through the the heart there opening up that heart chakra Okay, what did it say? Sorry about the noise. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Are you trying to manifest somebody, group one? Because I feel like you have been trying to. You're actively trying to manifest this connection. Coming together, union, partnership, new or renewed romance, the marriage card. Oh my goodness. The decision card, choose wisely. And then there's a negative female, demanding, egotistical, backstabbing, unfeeling.
Let me see if I can get some more on this because this just doesn't seem like it fits. <sighs> Unless, um, I just don't feel like this is the case with everybody. There just might be somebody in this group who <clears throat> is going to have to make a choice between two feminines. Maybe you like to turn your turn your what is it turn your eye to from the red flags or turn a blind eye is that what it is <laughs> oh. okay well this came out <laughs> you should get a divorce somebody that uh, is married right now and uh, like maybe they were just trying to manifest something into the relationship like I don't know more romance more honesty more communication <laughs> any one of those things and, like, because of free will, if their partner doesn't choose to, if the partner didn't choose to put in the work and, like, match your energy, you know, sometimes we grow apart. So if you're not growing together, you're <laughs> growing apart, right? So maybe this is just the confirmation that you need that... Um, just because you love somebody doesn't mean that that's the one you should be with. I don't know if you just seen that flame start going crazy back there. And it's funny because that's a two wick candle. I just made that before the reading today. <clears throat> I actually didn't know if I was going to do it between messages from your future self or who is thirsting for you. So I don't know. It's just weird that it says calling in your soulmate and then there's two flames back there <laughs> bouncing away. <laughs> Choose wisely. All right. Let's see. Let's get a couple more of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at you deserve happiness. You're going to be like elevating your look. I heard new year, new you. It is nowhere near the new year right now. This is a timeless reading, but you might have found this after, right after the new year. New year, new you. Time to elevate that shoe game. Nothing to me. Oh, I know you will achieve anything you put your mind to. Yeah, I, I feel like... Whether you're doing it subconsciously or not, you have been trying to manifest things in your life, thinking about what you really want, you know, which direction you want to go in, and what you're thinking about, you attract, that's what you manifest into your life. Not everybody is married. Not everybody in this group is going to need to get a divorce. That might have just been confirmation for one person that comes across. Oh, look, you're going to get a new house. Okay, this says chivalry and etiquette on point. I don't think that means your manners are going to get better, but I think it has something to do with the, the new clothes and stuff. Like, you're going to seem like a real lady or a real gentleman. If I do say so myself. All right, let's get an affirmation card for you, group one, from your future self. Money, reap what you sow, charity. And open your heart. Open your heart, be more giving. Don't be in a state of fear and lack mentality. You are attracting your person. You are going to be married and happy. And if you're not happy and married now, things will change. That situation is going to change. 
you have important decisions to make, but I feel like you've been trying to figure out what you really want, where you're going. So, I don't feel like there's really much more you have to do than don't turn a blind eye to fla red flags with people. Even, um, even yourself, demanding, egotistical, backstabbing, unfeeling, um, Miss Loveless. I mean, it's really possible when it says open your heart and then it's saying Miss Loveless that there's a feminine watching right now and you'll feel in your heart if it's you who maybe isn't aware that they themselves are demanding, egotistical, backstabbing, unfeeling at times, maybe in a... Uh, distorted masculine energy at times um, so just being more conscious of what you put out um, energetically I mean money wise I think it would be important to think about charity and giving back to others or at least showing gratitude Look at today, I am grateful, crazy. I wish I, this is, I'm recording with an iPad and it's pretty big and clunky. Uh, I gotta get some other equipment. I wish you could actually see me shuffle because that was crazy. Today my heart is filled with joy. I see the positive in everything today. Group one, you should definitely tune in to my group manifestation ritual. I'm gonna do um, some releasing work that would probably be beneficial to many people if they were willing to tune in. Um, yeah, we're just going to manifest. Manifest our little hearts away. All right, what's this one? Today I choose. Oh, remember? Make a choice. Where is that? Decision card. Choose wisely. Today I choose. I'll only surround myself with people who support me. Whoa, crazy. Mind blown. Thanks, Spirit. Good. Crazy. Good reading. Oh, I love you, Group 1. <laughs> oh, this just melted my heart. I'm so good. I'm No, I'm not so good. I'm so glad I can bring you, like, reassurance that good things are coming. That's what I meant. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I choose wisely. Don't surround yourself with people that support you. It could be a mother. It could be a sister. It could be a best friend. It could be a person you're in a romantic relationship with. Yeah, don't be turning, you know, don't be turning a blind eye to things just because you care about that person. Just because you love them doesn't mean you're supposed to be with them or stay with them. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me connect with your energy. I hope the messages resonated. If they did, hit the like, leave a comment, and subscribe so I can get you entered in for my next drawing. Otherwise, I love you and goodbye. Mm -hmm. Number two, how are you today, honey? Let me grab your cards. I pre-shuffled, and then I have a couple of extra tools in case we need some more clarification. But well, let's just dive in and set this up here. Release your X. Unrequited love. Wow, cray cray. Ooh, the tea. Okay, baby. 
Your future you says that you need to let this one go with the unrequited love it doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't like chemistry or attraction to keep it going that that it just fizzled out it doesn't mean that it just means that this is not hold on the words on the tip of my tongue it's not a reciprocal love this person's not willing to give what you give they're not willing to uh, this person might have like narcissistic traits. Uh, or be just self self absorbed. Wants everybody to chase after and dote after them. Which I think just brings you like stress and <laughs> excuse me not quite despair but and I just felt my throat chakra trying to block up mm -hmm. somebody needs some throat chakra opening okay there is going to be happiness in love there's going to be like a new cycle in love and it's going to be different for different people that are watching this group um, there's something like really unexpected and this is a scenario that popped in my head so this obviously isn't going to be for everybody but this might be somebody's actual scenario but like say you've been hung up on this person for like eight years nine years ten years you're on and off again it's your high school sweetheart doesn't doesn't have to be but someone that you've been with for a really really long time you don't want to give up on it you have so much invested if you finally let it go there's gonna be some kind of like crazy like within a matter of five years you could you know meet another person and have a whole baby and family or you know get married um i mean if you are a male, it could be a misthinker, brown hair, light eyes, intelligent, elegant, loyal, yeah, loyal, spontaneous, down to earth, open minded. And if you're a female, your luck and love is going to be Mr. Professional. Not necessarily female. If you're feminine energy, you're going to be attracting Mr. Professional. Brown hair, hazel eyes. Doesn't, these don't have to be to a T. These are just might be some hints of some of their characteristics. Brown hair, hazel eyes, stable and sincere, trustworthy, successful. Oh, and then it says, don't worry, help is on the way, the rescue card. Money comes from unknown sources. Enjoyment of the finer things in life, personal satisfaction and self-reliance, financial security could be an inheritance, could be like winning the lottery, it could be, I mean, for somebody it could just be getting the loan or getting money borrowed to them that's needed or like for a startup. Other messages for group two spirit from their future self. What are the messages from their future self? Just remember to stand in your power. You have everything you need to succeed and conquer. And your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. Your potential to conquer challenges is limitless. limitless. You are powerful. You can stand in your power. Set boundaries and stand in your power with this unrequited love. And again, like I think some some people's situation, these this is not unrequited. This isn't someone like I said where it just fizzled out. This is just um, not going anywhere good. This is not the one. But don't worry, happiness is gonna come. And I see like a lot of healing and growth after this situation. You're going to end up attracting somebody that's very loyal, smart, 
caring, sweet, cute, adorable, sincere. Remember that you're special, that you're unique, and that you're one of a kind. Quit trying to stuff me in too small of a box. Quit trying to put yourself in too small of a box. You don't need to label everything that you are. You don't have to try to define who you are to people. Let's see, I'll get one more. Send my love to your new lover and treat them better. Yeah, this person and you might be able to be like friends in the future. I mean, that'll be after all the healing and everything. Um, treat them better. This is for you and that person that's in this situation that you're going to be letting go. Uh, there, you know, there shouldn't be any hard feelings. And hopefully one or both will learn the lesson and move on to the next lesson. Or they end up repeating it with, with the new person that comes in. <laughs> all right. My beautiful group twos, thank you so much for letting me connect with your energy. If the messages resonated, you should hit the like and drop a comment and subscribe to the channel so I can get you entered in for the 500 subscribers giveaway. Otherwise, if this is the last time I get to connect with you, thank you. I love you. Bye-bye. I pre-shuffled. I have a stack here. I haven't peeked. And I have some other tools in case I need to use those. And let's see what the messages from your future self are. beautiful the way they're the first pile one was a little took a second to see what the messages were but this is just very clear cut right to the point beautiful <laughs> flow to the reading mm -hmm. okay Happy family, friendship, success, happiness, and love. Happy family. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in the relationship. Well, if you did not know of this deception... Now, this is something, I think this just applies to everybody that chose this group. Somebody is wearing a mask in the relationship. This is for, a lot of this is love. There's other stuff that comes out too. Um, so, obviously, if you're not in a relationship or in any of my readings or any reading, really, if one of the messages doesn't apply, but the rest of the reading is resonating, this is still your reading, honey. If not, you can try another pile or a different reading. But I don't think that's what's going on here. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know if you are in a relationship, the people that chose this pile, somebody is wearing a mask. Somebody is lying. Somebody is being dishonest. Somebody is not telling the truth. <sighs> However, I don't think that's the end all be all of the, the relationship by any means. You guys are still getting to know each other. You know, there might be... 
you know, a valid reason why this person needs to be. It could be you or them. You know, some people in this group, you might know that it's you that needs to be honest about something. And the other half, it's your person. And I feel like, even though this just says, like, oh, the more you get to know each other, the more your bond deepens. I feel like if you can overcome, <laughs> you know, this deception and everything and be honest and still go in the right like, don't let fear hold you back. Don't be afraid to, to speak your truth or, you know, follow your heart's truth. I mean, you don't need to be attached to any person, you know. If you're lying about something and you're afraid they're going to know the real you, well, then this whole relationship is a lie, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, I definitely think that the bond is going to be deepening and you guys are going to be getting to know each other more. But in your future, you are going to have a happy family, friendship, success, happiness, in love. <clears throat> There's a gray curtain when I try to see with my third eye uh, if this happy family is with this person. It's like spirit don't even want to talk about that at all in this group. Like, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> what your future, well, what your future self wants you to know is this is like this current situation that has to, is going to have to get hashed out. Somebody is not being completely honest. You guys still get need to know each other more. Intuitive, honest, loving, sensitive, artistic, helpful, miscreative. I mean, this could be for my feminines that are watching, that you are very creative and sensitive soul. Maybe you're intuitive and you know that your person is being deceptive. I heard Carol and then I heard Kurt Carol Ann. Like in... um. <laughs> poltergeist <laughs> so I don't know if it, what what kind of confirmation that is for who who are you did you just watch poltergeist <laughs> Carol Ann <laughs> right it's her name right Carol Ann no I don't know now yeah intuitive honest loving and that's really weird too maybe you are having um some kind of like a spiritual awakening or like a heightening of your senses maybe collectively our vibration is just raising the collective consciousness vibration is rising and you know everyone's gifts are gonna the the veil will be thinning you know but it's very weird that i heard something maybe you've been hearing things lately I mean, I'm not a doctor, and we're not going to go any further than that. But I'm, I mean, psychically, that's that's kind of where we're going. <laughs> All right. You're pushing yourself too hard. It's time to take a break, a rest, and your future self wants you to know there's going to be a vacation, a getaway. Vacation, all I ever wanted. Vacation, got to get away. You receive rewards for work well done. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Maybe um, your future self wants you to know, like, although right now you might be like, oh, yeah, vacation. Nah, I can't afford that. Um, but there's like a little secret blessing that's going to be coming. Like maybe you get a bonus or something like that. Or you get a raise or a promotion before then that you weren't expecting. Um it's going to be different times for different people. I heard six months, so somebody's vacation is not for like six months yet. Some longer and some less. Let's get you an affirmation. 
And when it was this about money, yeah, the rewards and happy family. Okay, we went over everything. Okay. Yeah, right away when I pulled this one, today I'm energetic, enthusiasm, energy to face this to face this beautiful day. Right away they got me thinking, are you going through a depression? Maybe uh, your future self wants you to know that the future you, you're going to feel incredibly energetic. You're going to be healthier. Um, maybe you'll be eating better. You're just going to have more enthusiasm to not, not even just face the day, to enjoy the day ahead of you. Happy, happiness, love fill my heart and soul all day. Beautiful. Okay. This from your future self. Do you think about me as much as I think of you? Okay. I actually channeled this way before the reading earlier. I didn't know, but now by seeing this card, I get it now. Um, your future self said, continue to pray, or if you're not praying, pray for the future you. Because the future you prays for the you right now. So they're saying, just keep praying that your future self will pray for me and I'll be praying for you. Because you are everything and everything is you. Uh, I just think that's just more confirmation. Uh, someone's thoughts right now are, are like, yeah, right, vacation. Yeah, right, happy family, happy love. Um, yeah, right, rewards and bonuses and and happiness. But your future you just wants to reassure you everything is going to be okay. You have blessings coming. Don't be afraid, you know, to just be honest and brave and bold and true to yourself. If you want, you can always tune in for the group ritual. I'm going to do some releasing, which might be beneficial for you, boo-boo. Uh, and I'm also going to be manifesting abundance, bravery, authenticity, luck, strength for the collective. So if you want to check that out. If you liked the video and the messages resonated, make sure that you're a subscriber. You hit the like button and you drop me a comment. You can just let me know what group you picked. Leave me an emoji. Say hi. Then I can get you entered in for the 500 subscribers giveaway. Have a lovely rest of your day. Afternoon, evening, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I love you and goodbye. Hi, number four. How are you, boo boo? Got your cards pre shuffled. I got some other cards if we need more clarification. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Okay, group four. So your future you wants you to know 
There's going to be a change coming in love. There's a need for change in your love life or whatever is going on in your relationship, your romantic relationship or ships. You're in a fog. Try to focus more clearly. Boredom, depression. Then we got this retreat. So maybe what's really needed is time spent together alone, if that makes sense. It's time to disconnect from the world. Maybe disconnect from electronics and social media and really spend some quality time together and do something fun and exciting to spruce things up um this situation involves marriage so your future self could be telling you this is the person that you're going to marry um could also be somebody is married and uh, they need to retreat with their spouse and what is it kindle that spark <laughs> these are not words I would normally use <laughs> I'm trying to hear what your future self said rekindle that spark <laughs> um Dark eyes, dark hair, powerful, charismatic, passionate. Um, could be just bringing more passion back into that relationship to Mr. Personality. This could just be confirmation. Maybe your person looks like this. Dark hair, dark eyes, powerful, charismatic, passionate. Money. Learn a new skill. You're going to be in a different kind of work, baby. You're going to be learning something. Maybe getting credits in something, credentials in something. You know, completing classes, adding to your professional portfolio. Hell. Um, more money, You, your future self said. You're going to have good luck. You're going to have good luck in that career field. So if you're changing like fields altogether or maybe finishing school and just starting out in a field, yeah, you're going to have good luck in it. It's going to be abundant. But yeah, different direction in, in career. I heard fork in the road. A need for change. I mean... Could also be this person. It might not be that this person, especially for everybody, but it could be, you know, obviously for some people in this group. But where it says time for change, boredom, dissatisfaction, retreat, it might be a retreat to find yourself, get lost to find yourself. Uh, but marriage, I mean, is still in your future and it's still leading you toward the love you're trying to find, if that makes sense. Let's get a couple more. Yes, okay, I got, I want to break up, such so as confirmation of what I was just saying that you might have to <clears throat> refine yourself. Maybe that'll help you decide you want to break up. Or maybe you'll break up and then you'll go do this. And this isn't for everybody. Don't just chill. Don't freak out if that's not. doesn't apply to you. It doesn't have to as long as the other messages, uh, you know, maybe you're finishing school. Maybe you're thinking about going back and doing continued education or something of that nature. Uh, being an apprentice. And your future, you want you to know that uh, you're going to have really good luck in this industry. I mean, maybe this is where you're going to meet Mr. Mister Charismatic, I was going to say, but Mr. Personality. Yeah, I just think you'll have fun. You know, you're going to have, you'll be, you would be shocked at the direction uh, your life is going to go, but this is not in a bad way. <laughs> this is in a good way. Somebody here might have just got fired and they're miserable about that. Uh, 
you might it might be time to go back to school or you might be taking this position that's going to offer you some kind of schooling and uh, that would be a positive opportunity for you if that comes up and that's your situation and also like a body come up maybe you're working out it said thick steak dripping in A1, so I don't know if you're trying to like build up your glutes or something with hip dips or something like that, or you don't know, get your chest bigger, but look, it came out again. And let's get an affirmation for you. yourself messages yeah look oh your future self oh it said today i am loved today i will know in my heart that i deserve love and respect and that's how things are going to be different in the future you're going to learn how to don't shoot the messenger honey too <laughs> you're going to learn how to set those loving boundaries that you need to set because you are worthy and deserving of love and respect. Let's get another one. Look, today I am resourceful. Just crazy how everything's going. Like not contradictory. Everything's going right with what's being channeled. Today I am resourceful. I can turn anything into an opportunity. I'm not talking about if you got fired or if something didn't work out and you're really disappointed and miserable about that. Your future self just wants you to know. You might be starting work somewhere else or doing an apprentice program or going back to school. Continuing your education, there's going to be good luck. There's going to be lots of opportunity. You are resourceful. You're going to be well. You're going to make it. Make sure you work on self-love. You can always tune in for that group ritual on the 8th. I'm going to use the Lionsgate portal. I don't know if I showed it in the beginning, a peek at the board that I made. So I'm going to be doing manifestation work for the collective if these are things you're interested in, authenticity, luck, bravery, infinite abundance, strength. I'm going to do some uh, releasing, uh, which would probably be beneficial to a lot of people in group four here. And <laughs> some rela releasing work. And yeah, I don't know. It'll, it'll be fun. It'll be my first time doing a group one, but hopefully it'll be beneficial to the collective, help somebody. So. Well, thank you so much for letting me connect with your energy. Uh, if you like the reading, make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment so I can get you entered in for the 500 subscribers giveaway. I love you and bye-bye.